The Queen tests positive for COVID-19. The Queen has tested positive for COVID-19 ahead of the expected ending of all coronavirus restrictions in England in the coming days. Buckingham Palace said the monarch 95 was experiencing mild cold-like symptoms, but expected to continue carrying out light duties this week. I've made the prediction that the Queen will die this year. I just don't have a date yet, but I think she'll die at the age of 96. She turns 96 on April the 21st. So today, guys, is the 51st day of the year, and Queen Elizabeth tests positive for COVID-19. She got her first vaccine on January the 9th, 2021, like 1-9. I'll just show you here. 1-9-2021 is when she got her first vaccine. She got this on 51 date pneumology, pure. And she tested positive for COVID-19 today on the 51st day of the year. I just posted a video about Man United beating Leeds and how it was all connected to Super Bowl 51. I told you they sync up everything. So the Illuminati guys, they were founded on 5-1, May the 1st. They were founded 5-1, 1776. So she tested positive for coronavirus on a day leaving 314 days left in the year. Pi equals 3.14. It's the infinite number that the elites are obsessed with. 314 is a big number to them, and it connects to 73, because 314, March the 14th, is the 73rd day of the year, and Elizabeth was married to Philip for 73 years. Tom Brady recently retired. He was 7-3 and three in Super Bowls, and he retired on 2-1, February the 1st. 73 is the 21st prime, guys. I would not be shocked to see Steph Curry have a big game today in the All-Star game because Steph Curry was born on Pi Day. So like many rituals with the elite, the rituals occur on a Sunday. Just like how Kobe died on a Sunday, there's a million other rituals that occur on a Sunday because the Jesuits worship the sun. So this ritual of Elizabeth testing positive for COVID-19 comes on a Sunday and she tested positive two months and one day before her upcoming birthday. Her upcoming birthday is on the 21st day of April. Interestingly, her birthday is seven days after mine, which is hilarious. And Brady just retired with seven rings. So the 21 is big in Gematria as well with the Jesuits. Jesuit gives you 21 in the purest cipher. And Elizabeth tests positive for COVID on a Sunday, and Sunday gets you 21. Big number. Two months and one day is eight weeks and four days, like 84. Sunday gets you 84. Jesuit gets you 84. The Jesuit order gets you 84. Prince Philip gets you 84 in the Peoria Cypher. Prince Philip, who died on 4 9, guys, age 99 on the 99th day of the year. And then the NFL season begins on 9 9, 99 days before the Pope's birthday. And the Super Bowl was in California, which was founded on 9 9. Just everything is by a code. So coronavirus was declared a global pandemic five weeks and six days before Queen Elizabeth's birthday. Coronavirus was declared a global pandemic March the 11th, 2020. Elizabeth's 2020 birthday was April the 21st. Span of five weeks and six days, guys, between coronavirus being declared a global pandemic and Queen Elizabeth's birthday. 56, guys, is a huge number with coronavirus. Coronavirus gets you 56. Remember Boris Johnson put England into full lockdown on November the 5th, a day leaving 56 days left in the year, and I predicted it weeks before it happened. Coronavirus, 56. COVID vaccine, 56. Elizabeth's been vaccinated three times, we're told. Three gets you 56. Royal family gets you 56, guys. Look into actor-based reality. The royal family is just a bunch of Masonic actors. 
Society of Jesus, 56. Recall Gavin Newsom, guys, the governor of California, the guy who said 56% of Californians will get coronavirus over an eight-week period, and eight weeks is 56 days. Pope gets you 56. It's why Pope Francis and the black Pope Arturo Sosa were so connected to Super Bowl 56. So the Queen was born on the 111th day of the year, a huge number, a huge number. And she tested positive for COVID 10 months and 11 days after Prince Philip died, her husband, 111. Prince Philip, who died on the 99th day of the year, aged 99, on a day leaving 266 days left in the year. And Pope Francis is the 266th Pope. And Kobe Bryant was drafted the 26th of June, 26 6 who's massively synced up with Pope Francis. 10 months and 11 days, guys, is 317 days. 317 is the 66 prime number. Corona gets you 66. Corona like crown, like Elizabeth wears a crown. So Elizabeth tested positive for COVID-19, 19 days after 2-1. And remember, she tested positive for coronavirus two months and one day before her upcoming birthday. Told you they love that number 21. And she tested positive 19 days before the two-year anniversary of coronavirus being declared a global pandemic. 19 days, guys. She received her first vaccine on 1-9. Queen and Prince Philip received vaccinations. One, nine, guys. Look at the state, man. Oh, my goodness. Vampire. Who are these people, guys? But yeah, one, nine, guys. One, nine, like 19. Like COVID-19. When you type in queen into the Gematronator, queen gets you 19. Queen gets you 73, and Queen Elizabeth was married to Philip for 73 years. Brady retires 7 and 3. He retires in 2 1 after he went 7 and 3 in Super Bowls in the 21st year of the 21st century. I've done a video about how the Queen syncs up with the numbers 62 and 26. Check it out. Especially the fact she was born in 1926. But again, check out my Queen video. And how hilarious it is that Prince. The musician died on the Queen's birthday. Did Prince really die? Probably just the character. And for more mockery here, she tested positive for coronavirus one year and 42 days after she got her first vaccine. And I'll show you that here. 1-9-2021, she tested positive 2 20 One year and 42 days. Look at all those ones again. Double 11, that master number. But one year and 42 days. And in Gematria, guys, coronavirus gets you 142. And it wouldn't shock me, guys, if the queen dies of a heart attack, to be honest with you. Valentine's Day is on the 14th of February, 14 2. We keep reading in the media all these people just dropping dead with issues with their hearts. So, yeah, I think the Queen will die of a heart attack at age 96. But we'll see. But this was huge for me here. This was huge. Elizabeth tested positive for coronavirus 2-20-2022 on 64, 28, and 44 date pneumology. This is not good for Elizabeth, guys, when you understand this code. 64, 28, and 44. The word kill. 64, 28, 44. 64, 28, 44. She's not going to see 97, guys. She's not. She's going to go at age 96. The Freemason. Freemason gets you 96. It's funny how England hosted Euro 96 as well. 30 years after they hosted the World Cup in 66 and Corona 66. It's uh, off the charts. It's seriously off the charts. What I'm doing here and what I'm connecting. 
You should be desperate to learn this knowledge, desperate. I'll be doing a video next week because I really do believe after the Queen dies, we're going to be heading into World War III and I'll give you the numbers behind that. The crazy numbers when the Queen dies and Prince Charles takes over. All hell's going to break loose, guys. All hell is going to break loose, in my opinion, judging from the numbers that I've put together, which I'll present later in the week. So here we have it. The Queen test positive for COVID. But did she? I'll let you decide that, guys. All right, much love, and as usual, thank you for supporting my work. Cheers.